today there's only one set of systems that are actually intelligent, and those are mammals with a cortex. And we feel that the only way to really build intelligent machines is to understand the principles behind existing intelligent systems and be able to replicate that in software. As a computer scientist, nothing is more difficult or more inspirational than that challenge. Hierarchical temporal memory, or HTM, is a computational theory of how the brain works. So what we do is we look at neuroscience research, we try to abstract away the details, understand from a computer science perspective what is going on, what are the properties behind intelligence, and then try to embody that in software systems that actually solve practical problems. Intelligent systems of the future are going to have a number of properties, such as continuous learning, so the ability to continuously adapt to changing statistics in the world. Another key aspect is to be able to deal with continuously streaming, changing temporal data streams. So the ability to understand temporal patterns, understand sequences, and make predictions based on those sequences. A third key component is its amazing flexibility. Another principle of HTM theory is the ability to make sensory motor predictions and inference. So when software systems do some action, they have no idea what's going to happen as a result of that. An intelligent system, however, makes predictions about what's going to happen and can plan around that. It turns out that in the cortex, there's a small microcircuit comprising about 50 to 100,000 neurons that embody all of the properties behind intelligence. That circuit is replicated everywhere in the cortex. This microcircuit can provide a blueprint for building intelligent systems. What that means is that when we build HTM systems that operate on those same principles, those systems are going to be amazingly general purpose and flexible. One of the most exciting things is that if we can understand exactly how this microcircuit in the cortex is laid out and exactly how to connect them into a larger system, that's essentially all we need to do in order to scale up and build intelligent systems.